What is going on, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? How are we all doing today? If you are new here, my name is Erin and I am here to help you get your shit through a plethora of manifestation videos. But also if you're interested and need a little more additional guidance, I have one-on-one -on -one email coaching available. You can look at all that information in the description box below. Okay, let's get on into this video today. I'm super excited. Guys. Oh wait, you guys look. Have you seen my, have you seen this? Slightly delusional but very hot. My mom made me this shirt. You should all be feeling slightly delusional but very hot. That means we're going to ignore the 3D. We're going to stay delusional, persist in getting what we want, but we're coming in hot with our manifestations. We're looking good. We're feeling ourselves and we're getting our shit. That's how you get your shit. Secret formula to manifestation right here. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a great video today. I wanna to talk about manifesting a text message. It's a simple, simple, very easy thing. You know what, manifestation, it's all easy once you wrap your head around the fact that you are the upfront power and you deserve to get everything that you want and you can easily. Once you start actually getting all of these things in, and you start really building your confidence as a manifester, you're gonna realize that something like manifesting a text messages is so, so simple that you're going to literally be walking around the earth making people conform to every little thing that you say. Cause that's that's really what it is. It's, it's manifesting somebody to conform and type their little fingers into giving you what you want. Now I am, pretty positive that you guys are all here because you're probably looking to use this to manifest an SP but just keep in mind that you this manifesting a text message or manifesting like an email anything like that can be used to for work it can be used to get anything you want about a year ago probably I actually manifested an email because I was applying for a job and I really wanted this job and I manifested somebody saying exactly what I wanted them to say word for word. This person came back and repeated exactly in that email within a few hours exactly what I had imagined them saying. I use this to get invites to places or to hang out with people that I want to see without me having to reach out. Okay, this person is about to tell me that they're gonna fly me out so that we can hang out. Boom, literally exact words. I do this shit all the time and I am, this is one of the big things that I am really, really a master at doing. This is powerful stuff. So I'm just going to share with you guys like my little secret formula for how to get this done for yourself. I will just simply imagine this seeing the text message pop up on my phone. And I know that some people feel like they can't really imagine scenarios and stuff like that. So they don't really manifest that way. But that's exactly what I'm saying. I do this how I usually manifest anything that I want. I imagine it and I try and feel completely unnecessary. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you that you have to imagine or you have to feel it real. That's how I feel like I get things quick. And if I'm going to be able to, like if I want to get things as quick as possible, I'm, I'm going to not be lazy and I'm going to do everything as quick as quickly and efficiently and effectively as I possibly can. Plus for me, that's the easiest thing for me is to just close my eyes or even not close my eyes, but just take a second and imagine that text message coming through to the best of my ability and be specific with it. Like I want to see that name pop up. I want to see whether it's a text, an Instagram, a Snapchat, whatever it is. I want to visually see it as best as possible with the exact thing that I want them to say. Anything that I freaking want people to say, I will imagine them saying it and either it comes up in a text message, yes, but also freaking phone calls, voice notes, in person. It doesn't matter if it doesn't roll in exactly perfectly. So like you don't have to get caught up in, oh, this seems too specific. I don't want to limit them, so I'm going to give them options. Like, okay, you know what? I want SP to text me, but he can text me or he can send me a DM. He can even send me a reel. I don't care. Or he could get super drunk and miss me and call me. Uh, it's totally up to them. I'm just going to let them... 
No, first of all, stop. You're giving them free will and that is the number one rule. We're not giving them free will to be anyone. We're not giving them the free will to reject us or not text us. We're telling them who to be in a specific moment. We're telling the specific person that we want something from to go into that version of them where they are giving us what we want them to give us, which in this case is a specific text message, a specific text message saying, blank, whatever we want them to say. Be as specific as you possibly can. People only think they can't be specific because they don't want to be let down when it doesn't turn out that way. But it's literally just telling your subconscious that this is what I want, this is when I want it. Whether it decides to bring it about that way or in a better way, it doesn't matter. It's like you are ordering in a restaurant. You don't sit there and get your whole menu and you're like to the waiter, mm, I don't really care, bring me whatever. It doesn't matter. No, what do you want to order? Choose what you want to order, be specific and tell them and then get your shit. Be as specific as you possibly can and be concise. Who do you want to message you? Boom. What do you want them to say? Boom. Now, when do you want them to say it? Boom. SP just texted me, I love you. Right now. <laughs> And that's another thing is we don't want to say it as we're leading up to it or we're expecting it. We're living in the end of we already got this message and we're happy about it. I'm so happy as we just texted me that they love me. Anytime your phone lights up from someone else, I'm so happy as we just texted me that they love me. Revise it immediately right there on the spot. But use whatever technique works for you usually when you're manifesting. Like I said, you don't have to imagine it. You don't like you don't have to visualize, but the techniques that you use do not matter. If you want to write out this thing and leave it under your pillow and sleep on it all night, exactly what they're going to say. If that works for you, do that. If you need to fucking stand on your head and repeat the words over and over, do if that's what works for you, do that. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is something that impresses it on your subconscious that you already have your desire, that you already have that message and repeat it over and over and over. The mind learns by repetition. So tell it what you want to see and repeat it as if you've already seen it. When I'm imagining the message, I've already seen it. I've already seen it. I've already seen it a million times. It has no choice at this point than to pop up. Now, I also highly, highly recommend affirming. Affirming is not a technique. Affirming is keeping control of your thoughts. So just repeating whenever you get the chance, whenever you're doing like something that doesn't require a lot of attention, like getting ready, washing the dishes, taking a shower, driving, be affirming what I said. I'm so happy SP texted me that they love me today. I'm so happy I got to talk to SP today. I'm so happy that whatever, whatever your desire is, this goes with literally anything and manifesting. I think this is a good way to get things that you want from people like in casual conversation. But if you're like manifesting a specific person, like a relationship back into your life, maybe it's like an ex or maybe it's just a relationship that you've always wanted and you're in no contact. If you click on this video to manifest a text message to get back together with someone that you're in no contact with, think about this. Would you be just as happy if it came in a completely different way? Would you be just as happy as this if this manifestation didn't come as a text message and you ran into this person on the street and then they confess their feelings for you? Sometimes manifesting a specific text message can be getting in the way of a full manifestation. There is no conflict in living in the end and manifesting in steps. That's not what I'm saying. You can do both. But don't hinder your, man your big manifestation of like, I want to be in a relationship with etc and then now you're imagining a text message where they message you and they say I miss you let's get back together let's date each other just think about what you really want and be very careful in the words you choose to get it because also even just manifesting a text message where somebody is apologizing to you or saying I miss you let's get back together you're not even really living in the end that you're together. And the point is that you want to be together, right? Unless the point is that you just want an apology. Don't just focus on the moment of reuniting. You want to focus on your end goal also. So keep that in mind too. I try and think of this kind of thing as more like a fun, like 
getting people to say what I want them to say, getting conversations to go how they need to go. For all of my really big manifestations, it's I try and live in the end as much as possible. That being said, the last point that I want to make is if you're in that situation, you do not have to wait for them to text you. You don't have to. You don't have to wait. Most people think that when you're in no contact, this means that like you can't initiate any kind of contact. Even if there's no bad blood there or whatever, you're just trying to manifest contact from somebody. Why can't you be the one to initiate it? Like, Don't let your pride get in the way so much that you can't reach out. If you have some block in there that's telling you that this person is stubborn and they're not going to text you first, but at the same time you're manifesting contact, I think the quickest way around that is to just contact them. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're in a good place to, one, be prepared. Don't expect rejection, but hand, if you can handle the rejection and you just want to say fuck it and reach out, there's absolutely no issue with that whatsoever. You can prepare for a conversation like this by affirming I get whatever I want whenever I want it or like SP loves to hear from me and they love when I text them. Kind of maybe go a couple of hours focusing on stuff like that and then fucking shoot your shot. Like what do you have to lose? <laughs> I've actually done this and then whenever they respond that's when I start manifesting the exact things that I want them to say back. So there's, there's literally nothing wrong with doing this. It's your world. You're doing, what you don't realize is you're manifesting responses from people, you're manifesting text messages from people, whether they're things that you want to see or things that you don't want to see. If you get a message from someone and it says like the worst thing ever, like don't ever talk to me again, I can't stand you, and you literally immediately think, oh man, I knew they were going to say that. This is why I didn't want to reach out. Yeah, because you manifested it. You don't have any intuition. You made it happen. So instead of imagining and expecting that somebody is going to react in a way that you, is not favorable to you, imagine constantly that they're telling you what you want to hear. Constantly. That's how you get whatever you want. That's how you get all your manifestations in life. So yeah, the rundown. Be as specific as possible what you want. Imagine or use any repetitive technique. Affirm for it and go about your day. Just get your shit. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I intend that this was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, share and subscribe. And yes, if you're interested in coaching, send me an email and I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.